Hey there you guys! So um, I just finished wrapping up filming my booktube on TBR video, um, which I'm super super excited about. Go over and watch that now um, if you haven't yet already. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick little chat about my trip to Italy. Um, I leave on Monday. Um, I'm super super excited. I just wanted to kind of talk about the books that I'm taking. I am going to take two to three books. So while we're there, we're going to have a lot of downtime. We're going to have time in the hotels way more than we did in London um, because most of our hotels are kind of in the middle of nowhere so we're gonna have a lot of evening time in the hotel I'll at least have probably 45 minutes at the end of the day and once we get back to the hotel and I shower and you know do all the fun stuff because um, I'm sharing a room with my mom so I won't really be able to go to bed until she's done because she's a chaperone for the trip so um, but yeah so I'm super super excited about that um, but so I'll have at least 45 minutes or so probably at the end of every evening and I'm going to dedicate my hotel time to reading um, or journaling or doing something of the sort um, giving myself I mean probably 10-15 minutes of that will be checking in on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter just making sure the world hasn't burned down over in the US yet um, but I'm it's really gonna be a trip for me to unplug from technology I'm not gonna have any um, connection when I'm not in a hotel. I mean, I'll have the option to hook up to my 3G, but I'm not going to use it as much as possible. Um, I want to unplug while we're over there. Um, obviously, I'll be taking pictures and I, won't, I will still be on my phone, but it will not be in the capacity I normally would be. Um, I downloaded a bunch of Netflix movies and TV shows and everything onto my phone that way when we're on a bus or we're on the plane or whatever I will be able to sit and and watch a movie or watch an episode of a TV show or whatever um, but when I'm in the hotel room that's gonna kind of be my dedicated time to read um, because I can't move I can't read on a moving vehicle I get motion sick uh, I'm gonna try and read on the plane but I don't know if it's gonna be able to happen I also have a lot of podcasts and everything like that download on my phone as well so anyway so I'm just gonna show you guys the three books because I did kind of fail I did buy two books for the trip specifically um, just because they're books that I've wanted there was well there's one book that I really really wanted for a long time and I've had the self-control of you know what I'm gonna read the books I have but I, I'm down to just over I think now with these two new books I'm down to 104 books on my TBR which compared to what I started with at the beginning of last year it's it's just a breath of fresh air for me having almost 100 books like and that's it um, I will be down to under 100 here pretty soon, um, which will be really, really exciting for me, depending on how good I do with Booktubeon and everything like that. So that's going to be really exciting to be down to under 100 as well. Um, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, so anyway, one of them I've had for a very long time. The other two books I just purchased from Amazon. One of them I found while I was at Barnes & Noble the other day. Did not purchase it at Barnes & Noble. I ordered the hardcover edition um, because all of the Barnes & Noble it, books, like the copies they had were kind of beat up a little bit. So I wanted a nicer version. Um, so yeah, anyway, the first book that I'm taking or possibly taking, because I'm going to take two, I might take three, but I really kind of depends on the room I have in my suitcase, um, how much I really think I'm going to read because I have plenty of other media that if I do read both the other book, if I take two and I read them both, I will be able to consume some other form of media while we're there. We're there. I'm out of the country for 12 days. So, um, anyway, so the first book is Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. Uh, this is a book I've had for a very long time. I kind of went and taking it just to kind of have a contemporary, easy, quick read um, while we're there. It's a pretty short book. It's only, uh, it's almost 300 pages. So, it's a pretty short book. Um, and I, I will not be taking any of the dust jackets with me of the two hardcovers that I'm possibly taking. I will just rid them of their dust jackets and put them back on when I get back into the States. Um, but yeah, so just kind of a quick contemporary. Um, the first book that I ordered is uh, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I am really enjoying Lauren Oliver's books and I really wanted to read this book and I've, I've heard really, really good things about this series. And so I ordered this. So I'm 100% taking this. Um, it's just a matter of what of the second book or the or if I'm taking all three um, with me. So I am definitely taking this book. Um, it's it's going to probably be a pretty quick read for me. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this and 
probably after I finish that caving and buying the rest of the series. Um, and then the book that I had never heard of until I was just browsing Barnes & Noble um, was Royal Bastards by Andrew Schwartz. Um, and so I'm obsessed with the TV show Rain right now, um, which is about Mary Queen of Scots, uh, who reigned in the 15th century, 16th century, somewhere around there. Um, I am obsessed with that show right now. And one of the characters in that show is Bast, who is um, Rash. He is a bastard. Um, he is the bastard brother of um, Mary's uh, husband. So, and there's, you know, drama. It's a CW show, so there's drama and folds, whatever. And I'm really, really interested in royalty and bastards and just kind of royalty in general. And so when I read the synopsis of this, it was really, really intriguing to me. Um, and so I decided to uh, order this and pick it up. It's right now, I think there's two books in the series. I don't, I think it's a trilogy. Um, but so there's two books out right now. The second book just came out. So I plan to read the first book and then order the second one and then get the third one when it comes out next year sometime or late this year. I think it comes out early next year. Um, so yeah, this is my other option for that. Um, and two, it's just a simple and it has, I'm so glad I ordered the hardcover because it has a map. It has a map in the front and the back and I'm super, super excited about that because it's something I love in books. Um, but yeah, and then I'm also, I ordered these for both my mom and I around Christmas time this year um, and it's a travel the world journal. So this is kind of what she and I are both taking. It's kind of our travel journal while we're there um, because we both want to start traveling a lot more and now that we've both, after this trip, we will both have gone out of the country and visited three countries um, outside of the US together. Um, and so I'm really excited to actually journal this time. London, I'm really sad that I didn't journal um, while we were there because now, like looking back, it's two years later and I can't, I remember the big things that we did, but I don't remember specifics um, of what we were there and what we did every day. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually journaling this year and kind of keeping an exact tally on what we did every day and what I enjoyed, what I didn't enjoy, what places we visited, everything like that. So um, that's kind of my talk for Italy. Um, I'm finishing packing, you know, getting all that stuff set up. Um, and yeah, so I'm super, super excited and I will be gone for two weeks. I will be away from everything. Not that you guys will really notice because I don't post much anyway. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what books I was taking with me to, um, Italy and Paris. And, uh, yeah, so that's, I guess, it for this video today, guys. And, um, I will obviously do some form of a haul of all the things that I'm going to buy while we're out of this country. Um, and fill you in on what I read. And I will probably do a wrap up after Booktubeathon, um, seeing as it hits, um, the week I get back. So, um, I will probably do a wrap up at the beginning of August, um, talking about, I'll probably do a video about Booktubeathon in general. And then I'll also do a wrap up. Um, about Italy, the trip in general, and kind of haul the things that I got and show you all those things. I do plan on getting a couple books while we're there in Italian, which will be amazing. Even if it's books I can't read, just getting, if I could find Anne of Green Gables in Italian, that would be amazing, but I doubt they're gonna have that book since it takes place in Canada. So anyway, um, that is it for this video today, guys, and I will see you guys all after I get back um, and after Booktubeathon. Bye!